it will go to the engine what is it called uh, like we have seen lme 1000 lme 1100 like uh, what is it for finally you know you know cryogenic engine ce20 yes i it's more it started with the 18 run thrust ha huh. Uh, we are now with the 20th run thrust. Huh. Now we are going to work with 22th run thrust. Yes. So these names are simply notional. So hmm. whatever you are at this moment hmm. named, hmm. it will thrust will go on changing over a period of time because we get confidence will increase the thrust. So currently we have studied that it will be minimum of 1,100 kilonewton hmm. is required. So it is right now 1100. Hmm. It may become 1200, 1300, uh, later point in time. even c25 is become like c28 technique no, that is propellant loading the stage in normal glacier is with the propellant loading ha huh. so 25 was 25 ton propellant ha huh. but what we are going to fly now next mission is 32 ton propellant so you already c32 is c32 is ready it's a ready? launch pad yeah the next launch is with c32 that next launch is a human space flight yeah launch. g1 launch g1 launch yeah is with c32 okay nice Can I ask how much? Uh, like, what is if you are to fly a satellite? How like what is the theoretical payload increase in? It will be five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. Uh, is it the common dome or? Uh, no, common dome cannot be used at this moment because we have a uh, we have a technological gap in that area because ox oxygen hydrogen temperature difference is huge. Okay. So if a common dome has to be used, you need to have an insulation scheme mm -hmm. which will separate out that type of temperature difference. Which we are working on, mm. but uh, we found that it is not economical at this moment to use common dome okay, because yeah. we anyway need that between tank space to huh. mount so many things. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we have to put another structure. So I didn't right. want to make it more complex by common dome. Ah, uh, then no, there was a paper I think long term back that the common dome could gain five hundred. See, totally people go on writing so many right. things, right. but then uh, yes, we understand the technology much better. Right. So we decided not to use <laughs> common dome. Angel, we will use common. No, dome. we will not use because it is more economical to co cost-effective, process-wise, mm -hmm. simpler mm -hmm. uh, to go for separate tanks. But you understand, uh, NGLV doesn't have this temperature issue because hydrogen mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. there. Right, right, right. So one is lo liquid oxygen, another is methane. Mm -hmm. Both are similar temperatures. Mm -hmm. Their common dome is very easy. You don't need an insulator. Mm -hmm. Even then, we don't want to go okay. because common dome creates other complexities. Okay. Okay. So let's. Uh, so you are naming engine, naming methane engine based on kilonewtons, or because one thousand one hundred. Other engines are based on tons of thrust. Now we slowly moving to SI unit. <laughs> 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 Now we started using two thousand, like that. No, two hundred. So two it's SC two thousand. SC two thousand. Oh, so it's okay. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, called Surya or not? What is with Surya? No, no, we will name it appropriately. Surya was a name that came up in the. discussion uh, because it's a name that cuts across cultures like it's not no language barrier in that name it's, it's a nice name yeah it will come maybe you will get a good name i believe okay uh, yeah so the engine where will this be tested like what is the infra for the engine like is see is the existing ac 200 stand only will be reconfigured yeah it will be same because it is less than that thrust the ac 2000 uh, kilonewton thrust and can handle this only thing we need to add a methane circuit hmm Right now we have the oxygen and the kerosene circuit. Methane circuit is similar to kerosene circuit. Okay, and this uh, currently with the L110 you do the whole stage uh, test as well. So L110 is a different test stand. Yeah, how will you do NGLV stage? One? No, there is no stage test planned, okay. so there is no need. So what you will do is we will do the testing at launch pad. So that's again another feature of the third TLP. Okay, okay. We need to test the stage. Hmm. So it will have interfaces for conducting stage test. Okay. So like. Okay. Short duration stage test. Primarily, uh, it is not test stage. Test is not what is important. Stage flow is important. We have to see mm. the entire propellant is getting drained in mm -hmm. in a very uniform manner without causing any issue. So that type of flow test we have to conduct, and then short duration engine test we have to conduct. Okay. So considering like worst case, there might be possibility of few ruts on the TLP. Will TLP itself be designed from the fact that it can be easily repairable? What is that red tie? I didn't understand. Red isn't rapidly unscheduled descent. Red isn't something happens of course to the. That is okay. That type of dam a danger. Yeah. No, it's always there. Okay. So a uh, type of uh, damage that can happen due to mm. some explosion or anything, and that can in any launch pad that is always a possibility. Yeah. Okay. There. Uh, okay, we found out that there is a a six fifty kilonewton stand being developed, test stand. Uh, 
So there's a bigger crash in the engine being worked on. I'm not aware of any test act being developed. At Tilpi, I think. Huh? At Mahindra Giri. No, we are not developing any new test act. We only have the existing test stands of semi cryogenic stage and cryogenic stage testing of similar class only. <coughs> what you are building, building is the same class, just mm-hmm. to uh, test more engines. Because okay. our test stands are fully occupied. So we are creating one more engine test stand for cryogenic engine, not a okay. new thrust or new capacity. Okay, there is no CE65. No. Uh, 